We do want to turn now. We're going to talk basketball. Basketball royalty, in fact. But a queen you probably don't know. Uh, I actually talked to NBA legend Shaquille O'Neal. Now, he's determined to change the fact that you don't know this queen's name. He has an Oscar-nominated documentary short. And here's my conversation with Shaq about Queen Lucy. Long and tall, and that's all. That I was tall, and I couldn't do anything else. That wasn't true. Number 45, Lucia Harris. Lucia Lucy Harris, one of basketball's all-time greats, a trailblazer whose long line of accomplishments and accolades left even the NBA's all-time elite in disbelief. I was stunned. I like to consider myself a basketball aficionado. You hear about, uh, you know, Cheryl Miller and mm -hmm. Celeste and those guys, but when I saw the footage and I heard about Miss Harris, I'm like, wait, wait, who is this? I like, she's a female sports hero. The Hall of Famer Shaquille O'Neal hopes to re-educate fans to Lucy's legacy, one which originated in an era without internet or social media in his Oscar-nominated documentary short, The Queen of Basketball. <laughs> If there was a female athlete who won three national championships at a small college and then was drafted into the NBA, how big of a deal would a woman in 2022 be if she pulled that off? She would have the same response that I'm giving now mm -hmm. as the best, best women, females basketball player ever. After leading her alma mater, Delta State, to three titles, she took her talents to the Olympics, where she continued to make history. That was the first basket in the history of Olympic women's basketball. Cementing her place in the record books, she got a call from the NBA. In 1977, the then New Orleans Jazz drafted Lucy, making her the first and only woman to ever be drafted, and the first woman to turn down a roster spot in the NBA. I just thought it was a publicity start. I said no to the NBA. If I was a man, then there, there would have been options for me to go further and play. Do you find something at the same time heartbreaking about how her story ended, if you will. Yes, I think it was very heartbreaking, but I mean, she was such a family woman and her kids are so proud of her. You know, they, they love her and you know, they miss her and you, know, and, and you know, their hometown where they live at, she's definitely a legend. Her short, illustrious career left an impact and inspired a generation of athletes close to her heart and home. Athletes, all of them. Mama, I didn't know you you was a star. I said, yeah, I had my days. <laughs> and created a blueprint for the future of female athletes worldwide, ready to inherit her crown as the next queen of basketball. You think she could have made uh, she could have made it in the NBA? Back in those days, yes. And you know, hopefully, young, young African American girls, especially my daughters, you know, want them to see the story and understand the story, and you know, and I can do whatever and I can be whatever I want to be. How did Lucy push uh, women in athletics and maybe even basketball in particular? She definitely moved the needle a couple more inches. We're not there yet, but hopefully one day. But the time is now. And people that maybe not know her name are just introduced to her. Unfortunately, now this, this Oscar-nominated uh, documentary short um, we'll be talking about, of course, with the Oscars coming up. But she just passed uh, this year, in uh, a couple months ago, in January. So what a legacy. But a lot of people are going to know her uh, more about her story now. And we have special coverage, of course, from Hollywood. Robach and I are going to be there beginning Friday, March 25th. You can see our coverage. You can see the big, uh, the big show right here on ABC starting at 8 o'clock on Sunday the 27th. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.